Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday to all of you. So, friends, I have breaking news. Congressional lawmakers have a plan to send out thousands of dollars to millions of low income households. Checks worth $2,000 may begin to go out on a monthly basis very soon. But, friends, there may be stricter eligibility requirements. So, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video. To hear about all of these details. To say thank you for being part of this community, I will be giving away a $50 Walmart gift card every day this month. Please make sure that you enter these giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos. And then please comment below the keyword of every video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these daily giveaways. And this is truly the Holy Grail. And, and, and I truly, I pray to the dear Lord, let, let what I'm reading be true. 33% of all America's health care spending is diabetes. 31% of all Medicare spending is diabetes. Now, most of that's type 2. It's not type 1. And type 2, in many ways, there's a lot to it. It's ultimately an autoimmune. But it is partially self-inflicted. Is this body willing to have one of the most difficult political debates and conversations it's ever considered in the modern times? Are we willing to change the farm bill? Are we willing to change the incentives what we incentivize our brothers and sisters to eat? Are we willing to incentivize our brothers and sisters to be healthy? You all saw the numbers of the misery this place brought to the nation with the shutdowns and how many of the zip codes around this country have doubled their obesity numbers. But why this is important is apparently we've been on the cusp. We've had a handful of people who look like they've been cured of type 1 diabetes. And it's, look, it's less than a year. Maybe it ultimately doesn't work. But this is a big deal. Why aren't we working on it? Why aren't we? Because if it's 31% of all Medicare spending, and we were able to help our brothers and sisters who are getting their feet cut off and Luke going blind, wouldn't that be the compassionate thing? Wouldn't that be the moral thing? Instead of this damn conversation we have here, well, let's build more clinics so people can manage their misery. I beg of you, if we're on the edge of a cure for, you know, you saw last week, it finally got approved, hemophilia. We got a single shot cure. Really expensive. Work out the financing. Cystic fibrosis. We may be on the cusp. None of the family policies that the Biden administration has wanted, which includes an expanded child allowance, paid family leave, or subsidized child care have come to pass yet in Congress. But with less than one month before the new Congress starts, Democrats are trying once more to push through one of them, and that is the expanded child allowance. The idea has a test run in the second half of 2021, when the administration sent families monthly checks as part of the crisis relief package. The bill raised the amount of pre-existing child tax credits and also included families with very little or no income. The result was a near doubling of government investment in children and a substantial reduction in childhood poverty. Since that expansion ended, one in four children have received less than the full amount. In current debates about the child tax credit, the biggest point of contention is who would receive it. Many Democrats, again, want to expand it to the lowest earners, some Republicans want to continue to provide it to families who earn a certain amount to encourage parents to go back to work. To encourage parents to work, a new policy would need support from members of both parties. For the 2023 tax year, the child tax credit has a maximum of $2,000 per child per year. When the former president's tax cuts expire in 2025, the credit is scheduled to return to its previous level of $1,000 per child. Parents must earn more than $2,500 a year to receive any amount of the credit and then start to receive the full amount when they earn between $23,000 and about $29,000, depending on filing status. The details of an expanded child tax credit are still being debated, but Democrats say they are hoping for a more modest version of the 2021 expansion which was based on a bill by Senate Democrats Michael Binet and Sherrod Brown. The 2021 expansion 
increased the credit to $3,000 per child and $3,600 for children under six, and also added 17 year olds. The biggest change was that even low earners or those without any income were eligible for the full credit. While families with high incomes were not eligible for the expansion, the result was a nearly 30% decrease in child poverty. The average credit for the lowest fifth of earners before 2021 was about $1,200. Friends, the key word for this video is banana pudding. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is banana pudding and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure friends that you're also subscribed to my channel. Most tax credits are known as non-refundable, which means that people cannot claim credit for more than the amount of taxes they owe. And people who don't pay any income tax receive no credit. On the other hand, when tax credits are refundable, any amount larger than taxes owed is paid directly to the person. Part of the existing child tax credit is refundable, but for very low earners, the maximum that they can receive is $1,500, and people with no income receive no credit. Many Democrats would like to include more families. Among Republicans, there are mixed feelings about refundability. Most want only parents with incomes to be eligible for the child tax credit to incentivize work. They also want the benefit to ensure that there is no marriage tax penalty. Republican Senator Mitt Romney released an alternative child tax credit proposal. Originally, it included parents with no income. After pushback from Republican colleagues and from Senator Joe Manchin, he added a minimum income of $10,000. Also, negotiations are going on for how to pay for the expanded credit. The current push is to include it in the year-end tax extender legislation in their large social safety net bill that was just passed one year ago. Democrats proposed paying for a bigger child tax credit with increases on corporations and the very wealthy. The Republican proposal from Mitt Romney and others would pay for it mostly through a large cut in the earned income tax credit and other tax changes. So dear friends, what are your thoughts about expanding the child tax credit? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my marvelous and beautiful dear friend, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Saturday morning. Thank you, thank you so much, friends, for joining me here and watching these new videos that I post every day. And I want you all to know that I greatly appreciate all of you. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Cindy Woodall. Congratulations, my friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me a message. Or you can message me on my Facebook page. Friends, remember to stay tuned because I'll be announcing another winner in a video later today. And also, please make sure that you enter the keywords of any video that you watch. Thank you and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.